Hello and welcome, I am Gary and Reva and these are my first impressions of Space Hulk. This is actually the version of Space Hulk that is no longer available on Steam. It got pulled and replaced with, I think, Space Hulk Tactics. I don't have that, I do have this, may as well give it a go. This is a recreation of the board game Space Hulk, which I do actually have. Or at least I have the, the re-release newer version of it. If you want to have your say on future first impressions, please consider pledging to my Patreon linked in the description. All patrons get a vote. It seems you get to choose between the Blood Angels, a completely insane chapter, or the Space Wolves, a completely savage chapter. Oh, so many choices. I'll go with the Blood Angels, whatever. So yes, this is Space Hulk. There is an option to configure your banner, but I'm guessing you have to play campaign stuff to unlock more things. I'd love to play as the um, Dark Angels. I know there is a Space Hulk Deathwing, which is based on the Dark Angels, but I don't... Apparently that's an FPS rather than a, uh, like a board game-esque thing. Harbinger of Torment. Oh wow, it is designed after the, uh, the physical one, because that's the Lorenzo model, I think. I painted mine as Deathwing. Boarding the Sin of Damnation. Boarding operations and establishing the beachhead for assaulting the Sin of Damnation Hulk. Recommended for new players. Secure the beachhead before the Gene Steelers can mount a counterattack. Oh yes, one thing I did do though was... I, well, I, I chose to do this, apparently I didn't save it, but let's change that to Kraken. Because the Kraken was the uh, Tyranid colour scheme when I first got into 40k. Normal difficulty, like the board game. Let's give it a go. Our boarding torpedoes have breached the sin of damnation, and the sound of our bolters rings true through its corridors. It is imperative that we secure the beachhead before the gene stealers can mount a coordinated counterattack. All flanks must be secured to give us time to reinforce our position. Sergeant of the squad, accept your orders. It's very difficult. One squad will be sufficient. You will deploy your Terminators here. We have predicted the enemy routes of attack. Defend the breach until a beachhead has been established. It's very difficult to like Space Marines and Blood Angels in particular. Alright, let's go for it. The members of your squad can be deployed in any order you choose. Select a Terminator and left click on the designated deploy tiles. I will deploy this. Oh, I knew it, Lorenzo, and... Oh no, Squad Lorenzo, because the, the captain is Lorenzo. Because in the Space Hulk game, like, each of the Terminator models was unique, and they were all given names in the original release. Anyway, uh, they're both bolt ones, so it doesn't matter. Let's just put him there and him there, sure. Oh god, bloody hell, that's sensitive. The Terminator must be facing its target to be able to attack it. To perform an attack, left-click the weapon, and then click the target. 1 AP while a flamer cost 2. You can hit or miss a hit kills. When you make an attack, a number of six sided dice are rolled. Keep an eye on the bottom right corner of the screen and close assault. The result of the dice may be a draw. Okay, well, that is insanely quick movement. Can I change that? No. No, I cannot. What is the range on my gun? Can I change the angle at all? Because. I don't like this angle. Okay. So it has set angles. That's not amazing, but okay. Ah, here we go. Storm Bolter. Fire. Drive them back. Hmm. Select your Terminator. Terminator can move to any lit tile. Action points are spent to perform actions like moving, attacking, blah, blah, blah. I will move to here. Yep, just lumber along. The camera is kind of cool. Stare at that bulkhead. Oh, you went splat. And you, you can move up to there. Why did he move further then? Because that w CP? Is that like the amount of extra moves I have? Maybe. And I'm sort of hoping there are key commands for this. Yeah, Q and E to rotate. I guess end turn there. CP generated three. If you want to turn your Terminator, click and hold left mouse and drag in the direction you want to face. Oh, I see. Turning cost AP. Face that way. Good man. Face 
that way. Overwatch and guard. A Terminator armed with a Storm Bolter assault cannon may spend 2 AP to set Overwatch. They may fire a Gene Steel as the move within their line of sight. Being on guard increases the chance of survival in close combat. Okay, let's go on Overwatch. Stay alert, brothers. Yep, and you. Overwatch protocol initiated. So, here they come. Ooh! Alternate function. The insidious Gene Stealer is the Terminator's primary enemy, lightning fast and capable of ripping through the thickest armor. Scanning blips. Reveal Gene Stealer and blip. A blip could represent between one and three. Unjam. Okay. Unjamming weapon. And Overwatch. And Overwatch. Weapon at the ready. Blow you away. My bolt has failed me. Wow, it's funny how often they seem to bloody do that. You get one to six CP command points at the start of every turn. They can be used by any of your Terminators. They can, for example, be used to move additional squares. Yep. Fair enough. Turn around. Bloody snarl no. lumber. Okay, why did he fire immediately? I didn't tell him to. I thought his bolt had jammed. Oh no! It's coming behind you! Turn around. Revealing and placing blips. Revealing a blip shows the true number of gene stealers. Cleanse the monstrosity. When a blip is seen, the gene stealers are placed as far away as possible, except. I mean, are they? Because he was placed like there. On each level there are entry areas from which blips enter play. They may lurk in an entry area to build up numbers before attacking. Right, I think I'm going to increase the animation speed because it does seem a bit lumbering. And let's test it. Turn around. Slightly they faster. Fall by my hand. Yep. God, that's so fast. Okay, I only need to kill one more to win anyway. There's the last one. My weapon has failed me. <laughs> Insane how often they do that. The beachhead is secure. Yay, personal you banner unlocked. Your duty to That's kind of cool. The thing is, I love angelic imagery, and, well, I don't like blood, but I like blood in games. That sounds so psychotic. But you get what I mean. Yet, the blood angels, I think, are awful. A collapse has left Brother Terminator Zale stranded. Destroy jam door, give new teleport home to Zale, teleport out, everyone must survive. Gotcha. Block corridors with burning prothium. Proth proth prothium. Apart from flaming gene stealers, the heavy fl comma, the heavy flamer can be used to block areas. Select brother Zale and flame the crossing in front of him. Flame tiles burn for one round. They cannot shoot doors or be used with move and fire. I thought they could. I thought that was sort of one of the things with flamers, that they're assault weapons, that they can be moved and then fired. Broken doors cannot be opened by either terminators or gene stealers. To destroy the door, select your storm bolt or assault cannon or melee and click on the door. Alright, heavy flamer. Burn everything! <laughs> burn that metal, yeah! That metal's gonna burn a lot now. Okay, move there. Lumber up. Like a toddler learning to walk. And then power fist. Did it work? Try again. Power fist! Okay, it worked that open. time. Yep. Keep lumbering. Like a toddler. Okay, and I backed him up a bit as well. Because I think I need to get them together. And I think the idea is I'm going to have to like back away while boining. Burny, burny, burny everything! Yay! Screaming gene stealers! That's what I like to hear. Because I'm a psychopath. What happens if I just sprint for it? <laughs> they walk so weirdly. It's like they've either just like crapped themselves or they're toddlers who may have crapped themselves. Because if this is all I need to do, I guess I suppose it is teaching me about flamers, but it's pass object. To pass a carried object, they must be facing the receiving terminator. Go here then. Trundle up. Pass object. Our brother is returning. Victory! To us. That was the bloody enemy easy. Has been denied a victory. I'm looking for quick commands. Overwatch O, guard G, interact I, primary weapon P and C. What? I mean, I, I understand the logic of those. Why secondary weapon is C, but all of those keys are 
scattered across the keyboard. Considering like one, two, three, four and stuff aren't taken, why would they not be used? Can I, can I, can I change these? Can I, I can't change these. Is this why the game was shut down? Am I, I like all of my complaints completely obsolete because they stopped support of this game. Make your way to the next mission area without suffering too many casualties. Some are fine, but um, not too many. Terminators enter here. Yep. I can read maps. Gene Steelers is six action points. Terminators are four due to their giant armor. Terminator sergeants, Lorenzo and Gideon. Oh no, that was Gideon, that was Lorenzo. No, never mind. The Terminator sergeants are highly experienced combat veterans trained to issue commands that can be fo that will be followed without question. They add plus one to their dice score in close combat. As long as your squad includes a sergeant, oh, you may choose to re-roll command points, so I guess I get a random number each turn. Not that it's established that. Okay, Lorenzo up front, followed by him, him, and him, and him, and him. Hey guys, on your own, you now have all the basic knowledge you need to play Space Hulk. Okay, so these are taken, so why would it... Okay, sure. Oh god, that's still so bloody fast. Why would you ever need to move that fast? You can't. S <laughs> Sorry, I'm just complaining. Um, right. If he goes straight up to there, trundle off with his little cape, and then I move him up to there, him to there, him to there, him to there. <laughs> they move so so jankily, so insanely jankily. Right. Yeah, move her one further. Gene Steelers! Get ready, man! Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Why are you facing that way, you nub? I didn't tell you to face that way. Face that way, Noctis. I want you to, to go this way. You. Go there and face that way. You are now on Overwatch. Uh, they're not gonna come from behind me. So you go that way and help the front. Uh, right, if I move two forward. Okay, wow, they just went straight through that door. Hi, fancy <laughs> meeting you here. All right, you shifty up to here. Can I fire this? I mean, I'm gonna hit him. Is that a problem? No, apparently he's fine with it. Seems like I cannot hit my own guys. Is he alive? The enemy will fall I mean, he's, he looks alive. He looks very alive. Lively almost. Alright, put the ones at the back on alert. Scanning for enemy movement. So that if they try to flank me, I will catch them. Okay, so yeah, that, that guy was alive. Oh, bloody hell, just black voids of burning death. Jesus. Okay. God, he got a bit close before he died, horribly. Okay, wow. Move forward. Okay. I don't... I'm gonna have to turn that down. That is so loud. I didn't... I don't know why he was firing then either. Let's use the heavy flame. Ah. Here you go. Nice tasty feet for you, Sergeant. How do you feel? If... Oh, he's... It didn't tell me he was taking damage. He looked fine with it. See, it doesn't say in the bloody thing. Here, look. Two plus kills target. Zero rolls two. Lorenzo dies. I didn't know that he was rolled for as well. Oh, that's really bad. Zale, you just murdered you Lorenzo. You monster. Oh, oh, got me. Oh shit, he's dead. Oh hell. Okay, yeah, you could die really quickly in this. I thought Lorenzo was just, you know, got burned to death horribly, but no. Seems it was actually a, a serious thing. Well, come here and face backwards because we are so screwed right now. Just trundle and turn. Yeah, I may, I may have to redo this because I just lost two guys because I was an idiot. 
Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, this was entirely my fault. Okay, let's give this another go. Lorenzo, Bernie Man, gun, gun, gun. So, compared to last time, we're going to book it. Well, as fast as, you know, a toddler can. So rather than standing and defending and doing it like Rainbow Six style, I am going to shifty up to here, and I'm going to need to go on Overwatch basically every turn. And Overwatch for you, and Overwatch Take for you. Position. Okay. They approach. So he comes in and immediately gets gunned down. And then the next one gets gunned down. Good Lorenzo, you're doing... You're, oh, I was going to say you're doing God's work. You're doing the False Emperor's work. I'm really glad that they show me this little cutscene every single time. It doesn't get boring at all to watch seven times in a row. Eight times in a row. Nine. How many times do I have to watch this? For God's sake. You can take a picnic Five while you're doing this. Let me know what you've done. Oh, you, you're done now. Bloody hell. Show that once per thing. A cancel game, I know. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, I need the rest of the team to catch up. So, Lorenzo, go to there. And go on over watch again. You did so bloody well the first time. Shifty up. And if you move to here and then turn around. So, we're already further than we got last time. And then go on Watching Overwatch. For enemy contact. And then they come round. My weapon is jammed. And I immediately fucks it I'm up. Jamming. So I'm trying to go to there. So really, I was an idiot for staying where I was. I really should have just gone for it. Alright, setting the fire trap here. To cover me for a turn. Why did you turn around, you nub? You're supposed to walk backwards. Bugger. But he's dead now. Oh no. Yeah, he's, he's dead. <laughs> well, we tried. We didn't try hard enough. Can we bugger the hell off now? Yes. Yes, we can. Alright. Just toddle off into there. Our forces are free to advance on the objective. Okay, this, this can be yourself for battle. harder than I expected. Suicide mission. Destroy the central release mechanism for the ship's lifeboats in a nearby control chamber. Heavy casualties are to be expected. Goody! Alright, so I'm going up there, and the heavy flamer must survive. Onwards, brothers! So I'm going to go a little bit different. Let's go with um, him at the front, flamer in the middle, and then gun, gun, gun. Okay, here they come on bloody mass. Oh my god, there are so many of them. Alright, Lorenzo, I'm going to move up. And put him on Overwatch. Noctis, I want you to open the door and then go on Overwatch. I suspect I'm going to get loads of people, so I'm wondering if I can put two of them on Overwatch that way. Okay, this could take a while. Um, unjam and Overwatch. Can I shoot past him? No. Because I discovered that I could actually aim past things, but only if I... Or maybe I can't. Maybe I can only hit the thing directly in front of me. Alright, you go on Overwatch there. You go to there. And also go on Overwatch. I don't think they can shoot past each other. So I think it's more a... Domino's thing, where if your front one falls down, the the next one has to kill everything. That's how Domino's work. Right? Yes, that is exactly how Domino's work. Good work. Oh no! This is so insanely hard. Jesus Christ! How are you supposed to do this? Alright, you turn around and burn everything. Maybe I'm supposed to be using him more. Thing is, like, I would go... Uh, I suppose I can do that and then go into Overwatch. So I get, like, two shots and then I can go into Overwatch. 
Attacking now we're good. Yeah, we're so screwed. We are completely dead. Everybody's everybody's dead. Oh no. Oh no. I'd find this tragic if I in any way sympathize with Terminators. <laughs> I'm trying something a bit different. I've got three of them covering one direction. Okay, so if he guns, if he continues to gun them down as they come from that way, or I'm taking the third one with me, but you are on Overwatch and you are on Overwatch. I don't know if it's like completely, no it's not completely calendar directions. Calendar? Compass directions. Like it's not completely, they have to be in a direct line from shoot. So having the two of these covering that door, really good idea. But I think I need multiple to fire in order to get the kills. If I move Lorenzo up to there, I then have my flamer buddy here and have him flame round the corner, like so. Nice. And then I have him coming up to there. The idea is Lorenzo will cover one of these directions, Noctis will cover the other direction, and Zale will make a beeline for there. While these two continue to hold off this direction. Not that anything else has come from this direction, actually. So maybe that was the hard bit? I don't know. I feel like this game is a bit... Did I forget to put him on Overwatch? I forgot to put bloody Lorenzo on Overwatch. Cock! Uh, power fist him. Give him a good power fisting with your sword. Oh, he's dead. You useless prick. Is that a brood lord? No. Oh, that could have been bad. Okay, burn down there. Can't help but notice he survived. All right, I'm gonna stick him on Overwatch, and I need backup here. Come on. Okay, I think I've lost again. This game feels very, I don't know, random based. It's, we're not random based, but the opposite of that. You have to learn what to, the right way to do each scenario. I suppose that's just the case with a lot of games, but I just didn't, I just didn't feel like that's what this would be. Okay, flame there again. Because, like, nothing else at all has come from this direction. I was expecting to be constantly assailed from behind. Whereas I didn't send sort of enough guys up here, and I lost one. I, I don't think that's a major problem. It's, it sort of flies in the face of giving them all individual names if their deaths don't matter, you know? So what I need to do here is I need to run him in there. Actually, oh, I can't reroll because the sergeant's dead. Alright, trundle your way over there, would you? And you, trundle your way up. And you, Let stay on Overwatch. Down. If they try to cross, I'll gun them down. And you, you're going to have to start following, because nothing's coming from this way. Yep, so he's gunning them as they go past, that's pretty good. Really glad they persist on doing this one by one. Oh, now they're coming from behind. Were they just waiting for me to move? But I've won anyway, so I can come to here, and then, and then boin, boin everything. Everything gets boined. It is done. The Whew. fires have consumed the control room flame. Well, that's what fires do. No you burned an empty room. Good job. But I will leave it there. These were more challenging than I expected. And I don't know if that's AI or a problem with the game or if it was just hard. It could just be hard. I really don't know. I, I'm i just guessing based on the fact that this game was discontinued, re-updated and re-released and so on. So thank you very much for watching. If you are interested in this sort of thing, I plan on continuing to play Space Hulk on the Garion Tabletop channel, which is linked in the description. Subscribe to that for board games like this, card games, miniatures also sort of like this, and D&D. And remember that if you want to have your say on future first impressions, please consider pledging to my Patreon linked in the description. And I will catch you later.